thinking, are you ready to have a good time? I'm gonna take you to a new height with this song of mine. A little ride on a musical journey, sending shivers right down to your toes. The destination I can take, cause nobody knows. Now everybody gets down, starts to feel alright. It's jump, shout, and boga, get down tonight. And everybody gets high. Hold oh on now, we get down to it. The music just makes this a magical moment in time. And everybody gets high. Hold on, and the room starts shaking. The energy that we're all feeling drives us out of our mind. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. If you're already in your seats, congratulations. <laughs> earplugs tonight, so if you don't have earplugs, raise your hand, we'll get some to you. This show wasn't rehearsed, you're gonna need earplugs. We need some earplugs in the back. Who's got the bag of earplugs? Did you give up that responsibility? Does anybody have hair plugs? Because I'm gonna need those. I got hair plugs. Hair plugs. Going on, going on, hair plugs. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Stanley Tucci. <laughs> and I'm John Lovitz. And welcome to the Oscars. <laughs> this is great. We should talk. My talks. For the Oscars. This is the audition for the Oscars, right? It's not. That was the joke. That was the joke. <laughs> I've been practicing my Olaf from Frozen. Was, it's was, summer! No? no, this is John's birthday. Hang on, good thing I'm staying at the hotel across the street. Yes. Hilton, Hilton, right here. So, so then what would we do? So this is John's birthday celebration. You heard about it, right? You got, you got one or 50,000 emails? Damn about John. That. John leaves out little details. He says, come, come on, Chris, come to, come to New York from Chicago. I got something I need you to do. And for those of you... Um, who weren't aware, the, uh, this production is brought to you by the generosity of the Helen Rubenstein Foundation. So this is the yeah, Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers fans out there. So, uh, special guest tonight, don't we have uh, Adele Dazeem? Is she coming tonight? No, it's really weird. She couldn't make it. It was really weird. <laughs> so, in all seriousness, this is John's big birthday bash. And... A lot of people, for a milestone birthday, they like to do crazy things. They like to overcome some of their fears. So this kind of evolved from that conversation I had with John going back about six or eight months, and he said, you know, I don't really know what to do for my birthday. I said, well, you know, I told him, I said, a lot of people, you know, do conquer a fear. Um, I think our sister Chris jumped out of a plane for her 30th birthday, I think. I think that deserves an applause. So we talked about that, and uh, he said, well, I do have a fear of heights, and I have a fear of crashing in a plane, so maybe, you know, maybe I'll do that. And he said, that's not big enough. <laughs> so well, you, you always had a fear of roller coasters, right? I said, well, yeah. I said, well, what if we just go to Great Adventure and we all watch it ride a roller coaster like this? <laughs> yeah, it's not big enough. So I said, well, you have a fear of performing, right? <laughs> I said, uh, yeah, I kind of do. I said, but what do you do? <laughs> Rent out a theater in Manhattan and invite 150 of her closest friends from the family? Ta da! <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I don't know that there was, there'd be a better way uh, for my brother to celebrate this milestone than to get up here and do the thing that he loves the most, um, which is to just make other people happy. So. I'm already gonna cry. <laughs> so, uh, what do we want to do? We want to get the show on the road? Um, I think we can get the show on the road, so let's dim the lights. All right. And Ladies and gentlemen, it's show time. Show time. Ever since I can remember, 
Music has always been an important part of my life. And it's something that can stamp a moment in time. Uh, I can hear a song and immediately be taken back to a precious memory. And in moments of sadness, it can be very healing. And in moments of celebration, it can bring joy to a whole other level. I mean, music is um, its quite magical. Then there was the first performing moment I ever had in my life, and that was in fourth grade. And my school teacher was playing the song that she really liked and asked if anybody wanted to sing it. And uh, for whatever reason, I raised my hand. And um, I didn't know what was going to happen. I just opened my mouth and I, I sang, Has anybody here seen my old friend John? Can you tell me where he's gone? And applause like thunder in the room. And right away I thought, wow, I like this. And I quickly realized that with all the places I've been in my life, if there's a stage somewhere, that's where I feel the most at home. That's the place where I, I get the most joy, where I, I feel the most alive. So tonight, I want to share that excitement, that enthusiasm, that joy with all of my loved ones. So that being said, live from New York, it's my 50th birthday celebration.
To do that, we're gonna get some drums for that. Yeah. Happy hands. I'm gonna take you back, everybody.
whenever I needed a little rock and roll refuge, I could always go next door to Aunt Elizabeth, who was Aunt Betty at the time, and Uncle Sandy, who were kind of cool rock and roll people, since my mother's idea of rock and roll was the Kingston Trio. So, I thought to myself, uh, maybe I'll write a song and kind of blend the two types of music, the rock and the swing. The rock and the swing. So my question to you guys is, do you want to rock? Yeah! Okay. Do you want to swing? Yeah! Let's do it. One, two, three, go!
not only do I have a beautiful family, but a lot of beautiful people married into my family. I've got a beautiful sister-in-law, Jody. Very cool brother-in-law, Steve. <laughs> and uh, she's not real, she's like a cousin-in-law, Vicky. Is, uh, their team. They call them the outlaws, folks. <laughs> so uh, we're going to bring up the uh, last member of that particular group, the outlaws. Ladies and gentlemen, my buddy, my beautiful brother-in-law, Mr. Tom Lantier.
Okay. Baby sticks. Hold on. Ocaba? Okay. 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 Joe, Joe you coming back? <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Are you gonna count it off? You got me on the stick now? Or did you give it away? All right, you count it off. Wait, wait, Go. this was not part of the act. I didn't count <laughs> <Calvin. laughs> Okay, you have to go for it. The greatest birthday present we ever gave everybody. Joe Callen, Joseph Callen. You know, uh, yeah. All right. Before we continue, you know, uh, maybe <laughs> give me some lessons. You know, they used to call me Jumpin' Jack Flash. Uh, so when I joined the circus, <laughs> what, what the heck is he talking about? <laughs> We were back in Club Bed, Stephanie and I, and uh, they had this trapeze thing going on, and uh, I figured, uh, maybe I'll take some lessons. And I'm doing this for a week, and they say to me, you know, John, if you get pretty good at this, you can be in the show. <laughs> so all you have to do to get in the show is swing from the air and jump in the air, and they have to catch you in the middle of the air, and if they do that, you're in the show. <laughs> so I show up. Saturday night, Club Med, under all the lights, thousand people watching me, nice blue tights. <laughs> so the question is, what the heck happened? Get the lights, let's find out.
reminded me of just being a kid. So, uh, speaking of being a kid, I know we have a very cool nephew, several cool nephews, but I have beautiful, beautiful nieces, two of them, who I'd like to bring up right now. Can we bring up Miss Julia Lantier, Miss Olivia Connolly, please? Make the mic a little louder, please. A little bit louder, a little bit more. Hello, there we go. That's for you, my dear. And I'm gonna steal that mic. And hold up. Wait. You have to sit down. And I'm exhausted, I gotta sit down. <laughs> okay. Are these girls beautiful or what? <laughs> so, uh, these two ladies just remind me of um, how important it is to maintain my youth. Are you on? Hello? Make this a little louder, please. Please, a little louder. There we go. And, uh, we've got a little music. Give the lights a little bit. You notice it? A little bit. How about you? Oh, a little bit? A lot. A lot? <laughs> well, all you have to do, you're nervous, is hold your breath, count to three, come with me, and you'll be in a world. Friends. 
and uh, I'd like to trip out a few of my friends. We're all with Stephanie. And uh, we'd like to see all the importance of coming home for Christmas. Now we get it. 
guy. Yeah. 
Alright. Well, uh, that wasn't too embarrassing, was it? I don't know, Uncle John. It seemed pretty embarrassing. <laughs> well, what do we do now? I have an idea. How about we sing Take Me Out of the Ball Game? Hey, do you guys want to sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game? Yeah. Well, let's do it. Everybody. I was the only gringo on the team. And uh, one time I got to practice, and uh, one of the guys said to me, this guy Lewis, he says, Hey John, do you love Jesus? I said, what? He said, do you love Jesus? So I said, yeah, like Swiss cheese, mozzarella. No, 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 do you love, oh Jesus! Yeah, I, I guess I, I kind of believe, I believe in something. You believe in something. That's good. And it is good. I do believe in something that uh, created all of this. And I am very, very grateful for all the gifts I received, especially all of you. Give yourselves a round of applause, all of you. All the people that uh, didn't make it tonight as well, they sent their best. And all the people that really are not here any longer, but they are still in my heart. And I think you know the people I'm talking about. 
And uh, among those people, there is uh, one very special little girl who is probably at this moment watching this show, sitting on my mom's lap up in heaven. So to one of God's greatest little guests, this is the kind of
Rangers, everybody. Can we play that MC video real quick? Give me a beat, Jeff. Just give me a beat. Boom, boom. Give me a beat. Boom. Kick drop. Boom. Kick drop. Just kick drop. Just kick drop. Boom, boom. That's it. That's it. You got it. Turn the volume down, though. Turn the volume down on the video. Turn the volume down on the video. You just want to see it. Clap your hands, everybody. All right. You might want to know where I learned how to do this stuff. This was my college. This was my training ground. EJM Entertainment, everybody. <laughs> All the YMCA's and hands up, you can do one of that time. <laughs> and I thought to myself, maybe, just maybe, if I did the little chant I used to do before we did a gig, they just might come over the stage and join us. And it went like this. Get this ready. Because we're going to send this one out. Each 